Hi Jock! So in this video I'm going to show you how to do a Halloween design that can be worn throughout the entire month of November because you go and get your nails and you're like yeah it's Halloween I'm going to have these themed nails I'm going to have these themed nails and then Halloween goes yeah and then that's it and you're like oh it's not Halloween anymore or it's slightly before Halloween so they're going to have a Halloween vibe to them but they can be you know worn without them being too halloween so let's get cracking so we've got andrea in today andrea will let me do anything on her nails unlike <laughs> faye so um i did suggest this to she's faye she's like totally up for everything yeah she's yeah, like yeah it's halloween it's january no yeah, problem yeah it's fine yeah <laughs> <laughs> you've got christmas nails in like october oh all yeah all sorts yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so We've got a full set on, they've been filled. We are going to use the base coat we've wiped over with clean up solutions so they're nice and clean. And we're gonna use the base coat on these now because we're gonna do a full gel polish look with a bit of a twist. Literally a bit of a twist actually, a bit of a twisty curly. A literal twist? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Is a literal twist something that's like in a book? Like literary, literal, no? Oh, you've gone too deep now. Too Andy. deep, okay. Too deep. Too deep. Too deep. Too far. <laughs> when you're putting your base coat on, make sure you let that brush kick underneath the nail. So you see how it's like skipping around the edge? And it kind of just goes <laughs> And it kind of shrink wraps the nail with the base coat. And that's going to help with the adhesion because we want amazing adhesion. Because we don't want to do all this lovely nail art, or even if you're just doing a full cover, you know, color, then you still need a good application for your base coat. If your base coat isn't done right, oh, it's just gonna screw everything else up for you, so. Nice, thin application. You don't need to put too much on. If you can see the texture of the nail coming through, that is absolutely fine. Do not put like a big globular on there. Make sure you put it nice and thin. I think I slightly over explained that. <laughs> but there are people out there that maybe need that. Pop down the lamp for 30 seconds. The only other client that will have absolutely anything on their nails is Aliana. <laughs> the Aliana hand will have anything at all. She doesn't moan or anything. Does she not? No. She sounds like no. a cool girl. She's a great practice hand. <laughs> right, bring me that out. So now we're gonna use Void. This is our black. It is super, super, Super intense, so so black. It's like black as the night. Unless the moon's out and it's really full, then not so black. <laughs> <laughs> Come a little bit closer for me. Thank you very much. So this black is amazing to do nail art as well. Your hair is very big today. Sorry, it's clean. <laughs> Yesterday was not so clean. <laughs> Sorry, air. It's got a lot of air in it. Like, yeah, oh. we've both got clean hair today. Haven't we? I know. We've both got clean hair. It's a rarity, isn't I it? I know. Yeah, it's a rarity. Why, why is that? Because we only wash his hair once a week. I yeah, do. Anyway. I do. Yeah. It's a once a week job. And that's traumatic enough. Do you wear like a shower cap then? Yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, because if you don't, yeah, it goes fuzzy. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's pink with rose gold spots on it. Mine's just pink, that colour pink. I like it. I like mine too. Mm. He obviously, as a bloke with short hair, you know, you go in the shower, you wash your hair, and it dries nice and quickly. But yeah. it's a pain. It is. Like, unless, it's like, if I wore a shower, shower cap, then yeah, I wouldn't have to. But then again, when I wake up on a morning, it, just, it needs to be washed. Yeah. Do you have to like wet it to style it? Is that the thing? Um, to be honest, I can style mine wet or dry. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I haven't got any gel today, so that's why it's just a bit of a fluff. 
Yeah. yeah. Um, I forgot to bring any damages. So. See, washing is not the issue, is it? It's the drying. It's drying it. Because me and Andrea have got extensions fitted by the fabulous rear. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, they just take a lifetime to dry. Yeah, My natural hair fat. actually dries really quickly. Yeah, mine does too. It doesn't take me two minutes. I mean, when I say natural hair, it's still natural hair extensions, but it's yeah. you know, the yeah. real stuff yeah. that belongs to me. Yeah, the one that's in your head. Yeah, growing yeah. straight out of the yeah. cranium. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The sprouty stuff. Yeah. That dries ever so quick. It's probably because it's so, you know, dry anyway. <laughs> and we'll do two coats of this. I know when you look at it, you think, oh, it doesn't even need another coat, but I want to make sure it gets the full depth of the black. Pop me that in the lamp and then we'll do a second coat. In the lamp. Right, bring that out. Thank you very much. What we're going to do now is we are going to take off the sticky layer with the cleanup solution. Enough coming down, isn't it? I know, yeah. We've got a storm brewing outside. <gasps> Scary is for Halloween. Hur hurricane. Something beginning with the okay. Nigel. I don't know if it's Nigel. Nigel. Something like that. Because it was Lee the other day. Lee is in the man because it goes different. It goes man woman. Yeah, because it's we've it had we, we've had M. Man, M didn't come here. Oh. All right. So and it was Lee Lee man because I said oh so yeah be a woman's name so Naomi. Yeah. Then we're going to put the matte top coat on. So matte top coat over the top of this. I've taken the sticky layer off because it makes it extra matte. Top tip from the big stick. What other ends could it be? Natalie. Nigella. A Nigella. Oh, could be a Nigella. Like a, a micro warbe. <laughs> a micro <laughs> warbe. Hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. What, why would she even say that? I call she, mine a micro She said it for a laugh, didn't she? Surely she said it for a no, laugh. No, it was just a joke. Was it? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, it was an absolute joke. I think what happened was some newspapers thought she was being totally serious. Ah. But well, she, everybody she calls it that now, don't they? No, I mean, it's just a laugh. Yeah. It's like binoculars. Oh, binoculars. <laughs> binoculars. That was, that was in a in a film. What was it called? Snatch. And and this, he said, "Can you see what's going on?" He says, "No, I forgot my binoculars." And <laughs> I don't say it like that. Now I don't say binoculars. Binoculars. <laughs> I've never heard it like that before. No, I haven't heard it. Binoculars. It's just a joke, like joke way of saying that, I suppose. We don't really say that word very often, though, do we? It's yeah, it's not. No. It's not in the in the standard vo vocabulary of like daily use. No, no, definitely not. Right, if you pop me those into the lamp, give them a cure for thirty seconds. Then we're going to use the um, glossy top coat. I don't know why I put it there instead of that. I'm just weird. Then we're going to use the Lily liner brush and the Lily long legs brush. They are both two different lengths. Let's see. Got a 10mm and 20mm brush if you like 10mm. 
I'm glad you can remember all the numbers. I oh, know. I don't know how much they weigh though, I forgot that. <laughs> Pretty weight. much the same apart from 10, 10, 10 millimetres of air. I know, yeah. yeah. If you load your brush, then you know you're going to get a soft touch. If it feels stiff, then you're probably not loaded the brush enough. That sounds all wrong, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. To be honest, no there's a lot of things that you say could be interpreted as innuendo. Yeah. Mm. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do a line like that, well, a curve. And we're going to pull from that and do another curve here. You're alright. Yeah. And then we're going to do a curve like this. And then we'll have one here. Now I normally whinge when it's clear on black or clear on anything to be quite honest, but because it's matte, this looks pretty awesome. I know, you can see it can't you? It looks yeah. cool. And then I'm going to go to the Lily liner brush which is a smaller well shorter liner brush and fill in those sections now this kind of shape pattern is really popular at the minute so basically this pattern is done with those circular lines first of all and then filled in to be honest when you were actually explaining it to me i was kind of thinking how is he gonna do that no i get it I want you to cure that. Then we're going to take, this is our liquid chrome in the colour chromatic. Now because I want to do it on this section, I'm going to take it and put it straight onto our rubber dubber applicator. I'm going to rub that in onto the shiny glossy top coat which is a no wipe formula. I just love how it attaches to that and nothing else. I know. Very clever. And don't worry about the bits that are on the the matte part at the moment. Soft brush it over just and then you can check that you have rubbed it in enough. Do not worry about the matte section at the moment. And I've not got my phone on silent. So we're looking like that at the minute. Like I say, don't worry about the matte bit, not yet anyway. Then we're going to get the top coat again. And what I'm going to do first of all is sort of go through the middle. Like that. And then that product we've got there, we can go straight into it. And go over the top. Of the design. And we can pull it right to the edge 
So you screw the middle first and then you can feed it to the edge. It's a little bit easier doing it this way. I love this chrome over this black though because it goes from blue to purple to pink even to like a goldy colour. It's mental. Right, now what we're going to do is, in my little pot here, I have water and a bit of washing up liquid duck. <laughs> These pots are coming in very useful, aren't they? The pots are <laughs> amazing. For a multitude of things. It's your new word. What? Multitude. Is it? Yeah, you said it quite oh, many, sorry. many, many times. Sorry. <laughs> Come on. Put your bubbles on. So you've top corded, now the bubbles. Bubbles don't want to come off very much. Yeah, there's not much there, is there? Do you want me to give it a shake up again? Go on with the little lamp. Then we've got clean up solution. That's moved. To me. Oh my god, look at that, it's amazing. Sorry. Oh, I was debating whether it was going to be as good because sometimes you have a vision and you're like, oh my god, and I'm sorry, but that's amazing. That's very good. That is very cool. Very cool. And because we've wiped over with the cleanup solution, we clean the mat section. That's why I was saying, don't worry about the bits of chrome on the black. You didn't need to worry about that because look, we've just wiped them off. I mean, you could leave it just like that, but we are going to add more stuff. Of course. You know, obviously, <laughs> obviously. But I'm going to repeat this on all of the nails. They look really cool. I love them. They are so cool. Look how cool they are. I love them. They're wicked. So, you could leave them like that. You could if your client wants that kind of look. We're going to add some green to them. But we're going to start with white. So we're going to use white out. This is our white gel polish. Super white. Just like the black is. Super black. I'm going to use the... Lily liner, make sure I feed the product all the way through the bristles. And I'm going to start here and we're going to do like a hypnotic, psychedelic, swirly thing. Yeah. I know what it is. And that's all that matters.
Oh, look what I've done. You got your finger? I've oh. touched it. Oh, no way. No! I'll finish this one and I'll flash cure. Flash cure it. <laughs> yeah, the flash curing is definitely needed. Yeah, we're going to flash cure that. <laughs> so don't smudge that one. So we're going to continue this pattern all over the nails. Can you see how it's more Halloween-y now? Mm -hmm. It gives me like, you know, um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, it's like Jack mm. Skellington. Yeah, and... Bride yeah, and what's his name? Beetle Jigsaw juice. with the swirly eyes. Oh, yeah. It's very Beetlejuice yeah. as well. It's got those vibes, but it's not... Because it hasn't got like a character on. Yeah. It's still Halloween, but it's... You no. shot again, yeah. Really, yeah. 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 So, once you've got all them done, I mean, you could leave them like that and you could just mat over these sections, yeah? But, I want to add a bit of green, because <laughs> I love green. So, <laughs> green on everything. So we're going to wipe over it with some clean-up solution, just to take off the sticky layer of the gel polish. They do look pretty cool like that, don't they? Mm-hmm. I mean, you could leave them like that. You wouldn't need to even top coat them with the matte because they do look quite cool. Well, even the white you wouldn't have. Yeah, no, because it'll just, it, it'll go like a, it won't be matte, it'll go a bit like a satin finish, the top coat, the, um, the white will, the white design because mm. it's gel polish. So you could, you know what I mean, leave it like that. Okay. But we're not going to, are we? 
I've not done this before, we're going to try it. Oh, you were saying this might not work? Um, yeah, it will, won't it? Yeah, of course it will. Oh, so we're going to use Peridot, which is neon ink. The green neon ink. And my idea is, we're just going to put it over here to make the white part green. Looks well, I'm quite impressed. It works all right, that does. Look at that. Uh, Doc, so you could do that any colour, couldn't you? You know, all the different mm. neon inks that you've got. Because I hope you've all bought them. That is cool. Because it's on top of black, it only affects the white. Yeah. That is pretty cool. And that'll just sort of evaporate off, won't it? Yeah. Leave the green. Yeah, that'll just dry. On its own, you don't need no lamp. No, don't you? No. Oh, I love that. Look at them. Wow. Lou, I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. Now, it definitely does have a much more Halloween feel there. Yeah. Proper pop. They do. They pop. Making me think of Austin Powers. Austin ah. Powers now, Austin Powers. Mm. Nice. Don't know why. Groovy baby. Yeah, groovy. Like so, I want to keep them matte. So, I'm on about like the, the swirly bits. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to put matte top coat over the top of them. So, you can just matte top coat the whole lot of it? No. No, like those parts, like yeah. the black. The back bits. So I will put some down on here and I'll use some straight from the brush. And I'm going to put this on any smaller sections with the Miko Aqua brush just because it's smaller but it'll hold enough of the matte top coat. Whereas if I used a smaller brush here, it wouldn't really hold a lot. I do like the contrast of the matte on the chrome. Put me that in. How cool are they? They are Cool. I love them. Right, bit of oil, and you're done. 
product and Louise any blame, do you? I don't think that you're not going to fit any blame anywhere, yeah. are you? <laughs> There's no way to put it. Uh, what no. the bling is there? No. I'm actually accepting there's yeah. nowhere to put bling. Yeah, there's nowhere to put bling on them, babe. No. Because you've got the chrome and everything like that. Don't need them. Don't need them. I love them. There you are, guys. Stick around and watch the um, little carousel of photos at the end. Everything I've used today will be listed below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, TikTok and all that shabang. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ta-ra, duck! <laughs> <laughs>